Hello gamers and welcome back to Hapa Gaming Tutorials Volume 2. I'm Fallen Frog and this time we're going to go over webcams and Skype. Alright, so we have OBS open and running. We've got Hapa Capture here so we have our gameplay previews going on as well. Uh, and so far up to this point, you know, we've got three great scenes here. We've got getting started, gameplay, and then be right back. Uh, sometimes you may want to do something a little bit differently. You might want to have, uh, you know, a buddy on, or you know, if you have, if you're doing multiplayer gaming, or you're in a Skype call, and you want to bring your friends onto the stream, uh, it's actually really simple, really easy to do. I've actually shown you what you need to know to be able to do it, but uh, we will go over it today too because uh, this is also kind of like a, uh, you know, a behind the scenes look at how we do the uh, Hapa Gaming podcast every week on Twitch. So what we'll do is, you know, those of us that are on the podcast, uh, usually there's, there's at least three of us, sometimes there's four, uh, we'll all engage in a Skype call together, and uh, we basically just capture those, those webcams uh, and arrange those into a scene. So uh, what we're going to do for the, the purposes of this exercise, uh, we're going to copy our Be Right Back scene. I'm going to just hit copy. Uh, we're going to rename this. Uh, I'm just going to use News. Gaming news is good. You may want to do gaming news on Twitch. Uh, you might want to do something, you know, they have the, the selection, the game that you can choose that you're playing uh, to be creative. And you can do that so that you can do like a, a news presentation. Uh, you could do drawings. You could do, uh, you know, 3D, 3D art, coding, whatever, you know, game related stuff that necessarily isn't playing a game. Uh, and you might be in the mood for that sometimes. So this is kind of how we do it over on the podcast. Uh, we've got all of our different, you know, scenes from Be Right Back set up, uh, but we're just going to modify these a little bit to suit our needs. I'm going to go ahead and remove our social media links, even though we'd probably want them on here. Uh, I don't have Snaz open and running right now. We just pretty much use that for the last tutorial, and it's just there taking up space. So uh, I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, we've got, of course, our Hapog Gaming logo. We've got our window capture for our gameplay and then our background here. Uh, I'm <clears throat> going to go ahead and first add my webcam. Uh, I'm going to right click and add uh, and then we're going to go down to video capture device to get our webcam in. So I'm going to rename this webcam. Hit OK. And then in our device list we will You'll find your webcam and you will choose it in there. I'm using the Logitech HD webcam C310, so I'm going to select that and then I'm going to hit OK. Uh, before I hit OK though, I do need to actually uh, take care of one little thing. Um, since I'm making this video, I'm actively using my webcam right now and I need to stop using my webcam currently so that I can enable it in OBS. So you guys won't even notice I'm gone. It's just going to be in a blink of an eye, but I'll be right back. So just like I said, I'm back. I'm here. Uh, I'm just you just can't see me. But as soon as I hit OK, you see me. You see. So uh, all I did was just made sure I turned it off and uh, then just started my recording right where I left off. Uh, so I'm just going to resize this and I'm going to place this. Uh, I'm going to. We're going to make this scene look a little bit different than our Be Right Back, uh, just because it's something different. So uh, I'm going to place my webcam right here. And now normally you probably have, you know, a different background or something. Uh, I've just been, I was using the green screen, so, you know, and I didn't move, so I'm still right here. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to move my gameplay over just a little bit. Uh, actually, I'm going to move this right up here to the top. Uh, and then we're going to change this. I'm going to bring this down right here. Uh, and I'm just going to change what the text actually says. Uh, so I'm going to go into properties and just change this. Uh, and I'm going to make this gaming news. You know, something generic. You probably have a title or something or whatever the name of your stream is. Now, I had to do a workaround to get Skype working today. Uh, just basically, I didn't have anybody uh, available right now that could join me in a call for the tutorial. So what I did was I set up an alternate account. Uh, with the name Frogspot, which is the name of my uh, Twitch, my uh, Twitch chatbot. So I'm gonna move this over here. Oops, I didn't mean to resize that. Sorry. Uh, just gonna move this right over here. 
so you can still at least see me. And let me resize Skype. Bring this over. Uh, what we're going to do <clears throat> now, the only problem that's going to arise for us right now, because I, I'm not in a call, you would, uh, on the podcast, we all use our webcams. Uh, if we don't use our webcam, we'll just import a static image into the OBS scene. Uh, we don't, you know, we won't mess with the profile pictures. But for the purpose of this video today, we're going to pretend like Frogsbot here, Frogsbot this profile picture. We're going to pretend like that is a video. Uh, because if there was a video on here, Skype wouldn't keep shifting it around. Because there's no video, because I, I don't have a webcam on that computer in the other room, so I can't just activate the webcam and have you know it show something. It it keeps shifting it over because of the advertisement over on the right. I can't. I've I've tried to figure out how to do something about it. I can't. You know, advertising is there, but uh, so it keeps shifting the profile picture around because if this was you know a real Skype call, I probably wouldn't sit here and stare at the profile picture. I'd probably be looking at something else. Uh, if there was a video though, it wouldn't do that. Video takes higher priority, so we would screen capture the video. That being said, let's just go ahead and screen capture his profile picture uh, because that's really all there is to it. So we're going to right click and add. Uh, we're gonna do window capture and then we're gonna name this guest. We'll just do guest uh, because if it's your stream and you've got you know your scene set up, you would add a new guest. You would just recreate their, their window capture each time. You would have to do that every time you know, you know you set up you before you went live uh, you'd want to have it already captured and ready to go uh, you, but before each presentation you know each Skype call is new so you'd have to redo it but we're gonna gonna untoggle the uh, the mouse we're gonna do sub region and I'm gonna move this over and select region uh, and then it's just as simple as resizing it to the webcam or at least what portions you want to use Oops, 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 oops. So I accidentally resized my Skype window, so I'm just gonna hit subregion again, or select region again, and you can see it kind of shifted things over. No bother. And there we go. That looks good. And if we hit okay, uh, and I bring OBS. I'm going to make OBS bigger for you. Uh, you can see we've got our profile. You know, this. If this was a video, it wouldn't be moving around, like I said. Uh, it would probably be in a widescreen format as well. And then we would just add it over here. Now, if you don't have audio coming from Skype to. You need to have it coming to the same source that OBS is picking up, obviously. So. Uh, I've already shown you guys that OBS is detecting sound from my speakers and it's the exact same way in Skype so uh, if I come into tools and go over to options and then we go into audio settings you can see that I'm using my same microphone my Samsung C01U uh, and then it detects my volume my speakers are my speakers my my Realtek high definition audio speakers just the same ones that are on my desktop so anything that plays through my desktop you know, we know gets picked up and put into my OBS. So if I was on a call, he would be talking, we'd both be able to talk and communicate. And the video, we'd be capturing the video through uh, window capture. So, you know, if you did monitor capture, it'd be, it'd be definitely covered up right now by OBS. So uh, it's really that simple. It's, uh, unfortunately, I had to use, I had to use this profile picture uh, to convey what I'm trying to show you guys today because I just had no one available to join me at a call, but it's really that simple. And then if you wanted to, uh, if, you know, if you were doing multiplayer gaming, you could obviously have your gameplay right up there. Uh, you could, you could, what we do on the podcast, uh, we'll, you know, have the, we always have the Twitch chat on there somewhere. And then sometimes there's a preview window that shows, uh, you know, trailers, images, you know, uh, whatever story we're talking about. So you would go through and put, you know, probably an image playlist or, uh, you know, do a window capture of a video if you wanted to capture a trailer, something like that. 
Um, but that's that's pretty much it. That's how we do the podcast every Saturday. Uh, we just grab the grab the Skype call, put it into uh, put it into effect on OBS. Uh, hope this helped you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Hey, before you go, if you want to see the previous video where I cover custom dynamic text fields in OBS, you can click up there. And if you want to see more of my channel, head on over to Fallen Frog on YouTube by clicking right over here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.